morning! It's John and Johnson from JD Escapes. We're now in the small and quiet town of El Chatan in Argentina. El Chatan is the closest town to two of the most famous hikes in all of Patagonia. Most of the hikes here in El Chatan are day hikes, but there is a secret unknown route which will link two of the more famous hikes together. So follow us on our journey over the next three days as we take on the Fitzroy Cerro Torre circuit here in Argentina, Patagonia. I'm in control of the GoPro now. I can already tell that this circuit is very different from the old circuit in Torres del Paine. You don't have to take a two-hour bus to get to the trailhead. You just start walking right out of town. You don't have to make any advanced reservations and you don't have to pay. Everything is free. Entrance is free. Campsites are free, I think. We shall see. It feels great to be back in nature. Just yourself, the birds, and the nymphs. And it feels pretty amazing to be able to just carry all the stuff that you need to survive. Leaving out of your tent, cooking your meals, and just going about the day yourself. Woohoo! First great view of Fitzroy. The clouds have cleared up for us. It was really cloudy this morning. Bucket list. We'll be going closer tomorrow for the classic viewpoint at Laguna de los Tres. Oh so God. keep watching this video. <laughs> Did you know that Patagonia is one of the windiest places in the world? Woo! Great weather today. Hopefully it stays that way for the next two days. Forever. Forever. And just like that, we're at camp. Yeah, time to set up camp. <laughs> then it. we'll have lunch. Let's do it. Oh. Now that camp is set up, it's time for some lunch. We've got some special stuff today. Item number one. A tuna sub. And item number two... Ham and cheese empanada. Mm. We don't have to eat tortillas, cheese and ham anymore. <laughs> so the great thing about doing this route is that the first day is super easy. We started like at 8, maybe even 8.30 and we're already at camp in time for lunch. So pretty chill and it gives us the opportunity to try for a sunrise viewpoint tomorrow. Okay, so the temperatures has like just plummeted. I got my triple hood on. It was raining the entire afternoon, so it was a little bit difficult to boil water. But it's time for dinner. And on the menu tonight, we have Kok Alvin from Outdoor Gourmet Company. 
red wine and rich chicken stew in the company of mushrooms and pearl onions served to the side of herb mashed potatoes. Sounds amazing. That's really good mashed potato. I didn't know powdered mashed potatoes are so good. Then I'm gonna try the stew. I see a lot of chicken pieces, some vegetables or fiber. Really not bad, considering how it looks. <laughs> mm. That's some good stuff. Buenas noches. It doesn't look like it, but it's night time. <laughs> <laughs> it is now 6.30 p.m. We have a bright and early morning call at 3.30 a.m. tomorrow morning because we want to catch the sunrise over Fitzroy. So pray for good weather for us and we'll catch you guys bright and early in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It is freezing cold. It's now 4 a.m. in the morning. We woke up about 30 minutes ago so that we could climb some stairs. We're heading up to Laguna de los Tres viewpoint. I'm kind of glad that we had to climb the stairs in the morning. Okay, climb a little bit more and see you guys when the sun's a little bit higher. Beautiful red sunrise. Last few steps. Oh. So cold. It's so cold. Oh, but the sun feels so good and the view is so amazing. Oh. That's Laguna de los Tres. And up there, it's Fitzroy Mountain. And over there is the sun. <laughs> Always watch videos about Patagonia. You see these like, jagged mountains. This is iconic Patagonia right here. It's a little bit cloudy, but absolutely beautiful. And the best part is that we saw a fox. The best part of this entire trip. <laughs> Arctic fox. We'll fact check that one too. <laughs> Arctic fox. This is so worth 3.30 a.m. wake up call and freezing our butts off up here. <laughs> Time for breakfast. It was so cold that we had to make some hot oatmeal and a hot coffee. The climb was actually pretty easy. It was not a very high climb, but at the top, it was way too cold. My fingers and my toes were freezing. It took us about one and a half hours. We thought it would take us one hour, but we didn't realize how steep the last section will be. Slightly longer, but not too bad. We were so lucky to have clear skies, even though it was raining the entire night. Not quite as spectacular as Las Torres. <laughs> we didn't get the pink glow over the mountains. <laughs> we had golden spires piercing the blue sky. And someone says it's not spectacular. I've been hiked since now. Someone's been spoiled by all the hiking that we've done. After breakfast, pick up camp and we still got a big day ahead of us. Right, back on the trail. Way too cold this morning. I think we chose the two coldest days of the entire week. But 
Look at that. Still majestic, even in the clouds. So after waking up early, climbing for two and a half hours up and down, now with another 10K to go. Ia and madre, mother and daughter. I'm still cold. This section of the trail is a lot less crowded and not quite as popular as the other big two. The reason that we're doing this hike, it enables us to link the two big hikes together into a single circuit. Less walking because you don't have to backtrack and more nature. What more could you ask for? For a quick snack. Oatmeal cookies, free cereal bar, and some nougat. And you got that view. Almost to camp now. Cerro Torres, a little bit covered by clouds. Hopefully that'll clear up later today or tomorrow morning. This strange cloud, perfectly cut. No clouds on the other side. Finally made it into camp. That was a pretty long day. We started at 3.30am. Time to set up camp. Well, time to dry our tent because it was totally soaking wet this morning. And then set up camp. Camping tonight at Camp the Augustini. And here's our tent. It's in a nice foresty area. Here's where we get some water. It looks a bit murky, but I think it's clean to drink. Here's the toilet situation. It's a hole in the floor, so use your imagination. Entrance to the camp. Oh wait, what's that? Camp is fully set up. It's only 2.30. Plenty of time to do a short hike. After walking, we do more walking. How far do we walk today already? We walked 20 km today. Starting at 3.30 am. 11 hours later, I'm being made to walk again. <laughs> Lots of complaining behind me. Complete! Cerro Torre! Perfect weather today. Oh, epic view. It's pretty windy. So cold and windy here. But our Patagonia checklist is complete. Woohoo! Means I get to sleep tomorrow. Patagonia! Woo! Go oh, pick it up. See my bed? Yes, go. So it's so cold. I got a glacier. <laughs> Oh, it's so cold! Okay, put it down slowly. Dinner is served. The menu tonight, we have classic beef curry from Backcountry Cuisine. It is a heartwarming mix of curried beef, rice and vegetables. Which are just peas. And gluten free. John's gonna give it a try. John hates peas. Yeah, I'll get no peas for you. Mm. <laughs> it tastes like what a New Zealander would think curry tastes like. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, slightly spicy. Yeah, a little bit of spice yeah. at the end. Back country cuisine. Quick pro tip after you're finished with your instant meals, roll it up like this for the last roll. Close it up like that. And then take a little piece of tape. There you go. Quick and fast. Oh, it is the end of day two. This is our final night 
on the Fitzroy Cerro Torre circuit, as well as our final night camping in Patagonia. Why do you look so happy? <laughs> We're gonna wake up again, bright and early. It's not bright, it's dark and early. Sorry, dark and early. This time slightly later because as you saw in the video, we are camped really, really close to the Mirador. So we only need to wake up at 4.50. So late. Crossing fingers that the weather is great again tomorrow. Get some good footage, good time lapse. It's time to sleep. Even though it looks bright, it's getting late. So good night. See you in the morning. But before we sleep, I need you guys to witness this mummification. <laughs> Look at the layers. Okay, wait. Beanie. Inner shirt, fleece. Down jacket as a blanket. <laughs> Sleeping bag liner, which adds like five degrees warmth. <laughs> Down mittens, okay? Stop. And Aegis Max sleeping bag down to like negative 10. That's how cold I am. Every morning, this caterpillar emerges <laughs> as a beautiful butterfly. Beautiful butterfly! It's amazing. What have you to say for yourself? It's too cold. Good night, caterpillar. <laughs> See you in the morning as a beautiful butterfly. Now you better zip me back up. on time so I won't go all the way to the end. My three viewpoints, beautiful glacier. This is Patagonia, man. Nobody else here. Cerro Torre blocked by the clouds today, but what an incredible view yesterday. Unfortunately, this is the end of our Patagonia adventure. We did Torres del Paine National Park in Chile, and we did the old circuit, incredible. We just did the Fitzroy Cerro Torre circuit here in El Chatan, Argentina. All the big highlights of Patagonia. Check out our other videos. And that's a wrap. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoy our content and would like to continue following us to amazing places like this, please remember to like and subscribe. If you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you in the comment box below. Thank you. And see you guys on our next adventure. I found a pig. I even took a net. Wow. How is it? It's amazing. What's better than reaching camp? Reaching town. The last day machine is activated. Always flying back on the last day. Sometimes I can't even keep up. Puma. Turn your back against me. Not how ferocious. So if you made it to the end of this video, we're now here at the monument of the careless hiker slash trekker. Hiking is an inherently dangerous activity. While it's all fun and games on the video, a lot of preparation went into all of the hikes that we do here in Patagonia. Make sure that you're physically, mentally, and materially prepared. We've done many, many treks all around the world and there's always stories of somebody dying because they were ill-prepared. Someone wore jeans and decided to go up the mountain in a blizzard. 
So don't do that. Make sure you're prepared, you have the right gear, check the weather forecast, and have fun while you're in the mountains. So, Monima, the careless trekker. Don't be the careless one. It's too cold. I'm done. Get me some lunch. I got bitten by a mosquito here. Your white face attracts the mosquitoes. Yeah, it's like a pow. A marshmallow. I went to do laundry in Puerto Natale. <laughs> <laughs> and then I didn't receive one sock back. So I thought that they lost my sock. And right here while we're camping in the tent in Argentina, <laughs> I found my other side in the tent. I lost it in Chile and it reappeared in Argentina in our tent. <laughs> Where did it come from? A giant middle finger. Wait. It's a very big piece of salami. Why did we even hike up? It's Roy, right from town. 